it's relatively early in the morning for me and I wanted to hop online and I guess share this while it was still fresh in my head. Um, I was just out on my walk and um, I woke up this morning pretty much the same day, same way I wake up every morning, which is I always I always have this consistent feeling and um, I have a look and, and ask if it's mine and, and I always kind of get these mixed messages about whether it's mine or whether it's someone else's. And it doesn't matter how much clearing and how much clearing and how much releasing I do in a multitude of different ways, this has never actually shifted. And um, this morning, I don't know why, maybe I tapped into a dingy tiny piece of courage. I, um, I went in and had a look at it and what I, I was connected and chatting to the infinite universal part of me while I was doing this. And what they, and I say they, I use they as the descriptive word, it's the best way I could put it. What they were saying was that it's, uh, it's not what it seems. And take a closer look, put some light on it. And I did, I, I, you know, I, I got a torch put some light on it and the feeling disappeared and I was sitting there going, hang on a sec, the feeling's gone and I said yes of course it's gone, it's not real, it's not a real feeling, it doesn't sit, you know, it sits way deep down in the pit of my stomach and it doesn't sit where, you know, it doesn't sit where emotions sit in there and um, and what I realised, and I also, I found one up in my chest as well um, as I was walking and what I realised was the one in the pit of my stomach is, um, it's my, it's, it's an automatic emotion or perceived emotion that I created whenever um, whenever anyone hurts me, I feel it in the pit of my stomach. And what I've done is I've created this almost like fake feeling. So because, you know, it's, um, well, because the easiest way I can put it is I have been hurt by so many people in so many different ways that the only way I guess I could handle that level of pain was to create this feeling that was consistently there so the impact wasn't as huge. And the one up in my uh, chest near my heart, I created that because I was judged and criticised and not and I manipulated not intentionally it was all it was all by people that thought they were doing what you know the best that they could do at the time but that doesn't matter when you know when it's happening to you it doesn't really matter if they have the best of intentions or not it still has the impact and so what I did was I created this fake feeling and I put it in my chest near my very close to my heart because that's where I felt this particular hurt whenever anyone would treat me this way, um, I put this fake feeling in this space near my heart and so when it did happen the impact wasn't so full on because you know, these, these two feelings were here all the time and the last couple of days I've been okay but by yesterday um, I noticed that I had this fear that I was on a call with someone and I had the fear that he was going to do something to hurt me. He didn't, but this fear came up and I felt just, I felt it go straight through every part of me. So what I worked out was that this is, it's a habit, it's, it's a fake feeling that I created to protect myself. So when people did do things that hurt me or when people did criticise or judge me, the impact wasn't so severe 
because I already had the undertone feeling there. So it was almost like it was a cushioning for the feeling. So it wasn't so, so, so bad, as bad as it could have been had I not had those feelings there or as bad as I thought it would be if I didn't have those feelings there. So uh, this is kind of what I worked out this morning. So now I am working on, I guess, simply shining the light in those areas and, and getting it into my consciousness, getting it right into my consciousness that these feelings aren't real, that they're not actual emotions, they are creations, they are protections for me.